if you want to stay updated on new and trending GitHub repositories, I think that you're going to love this website. I got this website from one of the viewers of the channel. Uh, he sent it to me in LinkedIn and I immediately bookmarked it because it's uh, pretty amazing. It's very simple. This video is going to be very short. You probably noticed by, um, I mean, before clicking. But in general, what you can do here, you have trending repositories, repositories and trending developers. You can define what time frame you would like to uh, check, measure, different coding languages, and let's say top 100. So this way we can see what are the trending repositories today, all languages. We can come here and just see what are the trending repositories. So obviously some um, very famous repository, Django repository, uh, Fabric repository, which is a, a very good repository related to uh, AI and uh, generating prompts and patterns. If I'm not, yes, F Fabric is an open source framework for augmenting humans using AI. Yes, it's a very interesting um, library, which I think I covered in uh, one of my videos a few months ago. Anyway, so you can just come here, see different repositories. Open hands is, I think, I believe it is formerly was Devin. Let's see. Yeah, Open Devin, yeah. Open Devin, which is like an agenting framework. It seems to be trending. I haven't tested uh, it lately, but seems to be getting some traction. And Dockling, which I did a video a few days ago uh, about, which is a very interesting um, tool that allows you to take any form of PDF or file and convert it to Markdown or JSON. So you can see here, you can just come here and see uh, what are the different trending repositories. Um, this way you can stay up to date about what's going on. And if you're um, interested in, in, you know, seeing the most recent stuff, what is gaining traction, this is a, a great website that you can just add to your um, bookmarks. What else here? Eh, no, no, nothing, nothing crazy, but it just, you know, it's just fun to explore, see different projects, also see different developers, what are like the, the most, um, the, the leading developers, what have they developed, perhaps um, getting some inspiration. There are also a lot of repositories here that have like um, content or resources. So this one is pretty useful, Generative AI for Beginners by, my, by the Microsoft team. It's, it's a good one. Let's check it out. So they have lessons here. They are different um, code related stuff. So ebook foundations, free programming books. So this is also a very useful repository. It has a ton of books about programming and also in different languages and different free online courses. So let's say we want to see online courses in English. These are all the online courses. There are a ton of them. Another noteworthy um, repository, which we can see here, is the repository by Free Code Camp, which is a, an amazing YouTube channel with a lot of resources related to coding and learning coding. Yeah, so as you guys probably know, GitHub is an amazing resource. And this simple tool is just a great way to uh, sort out different repositories. Some of the stuff you can do via GitHub, via the explore section, but I don't know why. I just uh, feel that I like like this website, which was developed by probably an indie hacker, um, this guy. And yeah, I wanted to mention this. Hope you guys find it useful. Obviously, if you did, please leave a comment below, subscribe and like the video. And until next time, keep on automating.